Okay, thanks so much for tuning in. I love Italy, I love Italian food. Welcome to my Italian food series. I'm gonna be making some super delicious and really easy Italian classics in my kitchen. So let's get to it. So I like to use a nice big piece of quartz when I'm making pasta. I just start with zero, zero flour, make a well in the center, add the egg yolks, a pinch of salt, and just a little bit of olive oil. Then I combine slowly all the ingredients in. I add water as I go along, just enough to form a nice pasta dough ball. I knead it until it's silky smooth. It takes about five to 10 minutes. And then I let my pasta rest for about half an hour with a cloth over. So always cover your pasta with some plastic wrap when you're storing it, you don't want it to dry out. So I'm just going to roll the pasta out, make sure to dust all the surfaces and the pasta regularly. We're going to be making some pasta shapes. I'm using a pasta machine here. I start on the largest setting, which is number nine, and then I roll it again on seven, five, three, and one until it's super thin. And do remember to dust your pasta as you go along, including the surfaces. The last thing you want is your pasta sticking to anything. So now we're just going to make a range of interesting shapes, really. The choices are unlimited. You can use your imagination. First of all, this is farfowl, which is Italian for butterfly. In the UK, we tend to know them as bow ties. Next, I'm going to be making some spire or mollusk shells. You just simply wrap strips of pasta around a barbecue skewer and then push them off and you get these great little seashell shapes. Next, I'm going to be making some conchigli, which are little pasta shells. So simple to make. And finally, we're going to be doing some angel hair noodles, pasta and tagliatelle. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video.